Well, one of the problems with many people with subwoofers, they want to be able to point at it, saying, there's my subwoofer. A good subwoofer placement, though, should be about disappearing, integrating with the music, so your speakers, your stereo image, becomes a complete picture. Step one, initial placement. Set the subwoofer at an odd-numbered partition, such as one-third or one-fifth, of the length of the wall opposite the main listening position and opposite major openings like doors and windows. Step two, connect your processor or receiver to your subwoofer. Keep your cables loose because you're going to be moving the subwoofer around. There's three main connection possibilities, the LFE signal, the two channel or left and right line input, or both. LFE is a bit confusing to many people because they tend to use it as the primary connection for most subwoofer setups. An LFE stands for a low frequency effects channel. It is an independently recorded effects channel that movie producers will use to enhance dynamics, explosion, special effects. In music, there's no such channel. By using the preamp right-left outputs of a processor, you'll be able to pass that bass information that's naturally in your stereo channels to your subwoofer, then enhancing the full range response that your speakers have. If you are using an LFE connection in a home theater system, there's an easy sound check to determine if the processor is sending a signal for two-channel use. Simply play a two-channel recording and listen to see if any sound comes from the subwoofer. If the subwoofer does make sound, you don't have to connect the left and right line inputs, and can ignore any sections of this video marked for two-channel setup only. If there isn't bass coming from your subwoofer while the two-channel recording is playing, then you need to either change the settings on your processor, you'll want to look at your processor's manual for that, or you'll need to connect the left and right line inputs and follow all setup steps in this video for LFE, two-channel, and both. If you're using the speakers only as part of a two-channel setup and not as part of a surround sound system, you can connect using the left and right line inputs and ignore any steps in this video marked for LFE only. Step 3. Set your controls to their initial settings. Your level should be set to 4, phase equal to 90. Set the low-pass filter to 70% of your main speaker's low-frequency extension. For example, if your front speakers are rated down to 50 Hz, set it to 35 Hz. If your subwoofer has a level adjustment knob, it will have values like 25 Hz or 50 Hz, or some other adjustment, set these to zero. For step four, you're going to set the subwoofer where you would normally be listening, then play back a recording. Crawl around and listen to the bass response in different places where you will put the subwoofer. You can close the blinds if you're worried about what the neighbors will think. Well, often, as you're crawling around the room, you may find places where the subwoofer seems almost out of control, as if you turned up the volume dramatically. Some ratios of length, width, or height in your room happens to be complementary, and you end up with a large peak at one very specific frequency. The result is you'll only have that one note play well. All the other notes tend to suffer. So what you want to do is to listen for multiple bass frequencies, get all the notes right. Once you find that sweet spot, move the subwoofer to that spot. Take a listen from the main listening position to double check. For step five, you'll tweak the controls to fine tune your subwoofer's integration. For steps involving the left and right line inputs, you'll want to listen to a two channel recording. For steps involving the LFE only, you'll want to listen to a familiar DVD or Blu-ray. If you have the left and right line inputs connected, you'll set the low pass filter first. While you listen, have a trusty assistant start turning the low-pass knob up until the sound starts pulling into the subwoofer, then back it off to the proper setting. Now, for speakers connected to an LFE signal, you're going to set the controls in your processor. Consult your processor's manual regarding how to access these settings in your particular processor. If you have both LFE and left and right line inputs connected, set your system for large for your mains, then both for subwoofer mode, sometimes also called ultra. This will allow two-channel bass to go out to the right-left connections and LFE out to the LFE output. If you're using smaller speakers that can't handle much bass below 80 Hz, then set them for small. LFE will be the only cable needed, but you will need to compromise in bass levels for music and movies. For all LFE setups, start at these settings. Crossover, 70 Hz. High pass, 12 dB. Low pass, 24 dB. If you are using a wireless subwoofer, add 14 feet to the sub-distance settings to adjust for latency. From these points, adjust these settings while listening to a familiar DVD or Blu-ray so the bass sounds like it's coming from the speakers and not the subwoofer. Now, for all setups, you'll adjust the phase. Play a two-channel recording with a lot of bass and rock the phase control between 0 and 90 degrees. Listen for how the notes start and stop relative to the main speakers. Listen to that male singer. If his body doesn't seem to focus as an image, 
It can mean the subwoofer may be out of phase relative to your main speakers. Choose the setting with the least amount of drop in bass response. If you prefer zero, switch between zero and 270 degrees. If you choose 90, switch between 90 and 180 degrees. Choose the setting that achieves the best blending between the speakers and the subwoofer. If your subwoofer has a level adjustment knob labeled 25 Hz or 50 Hz, use the same recording and put the knob down to negative 10 decibels and listen. Then go up to plus 10 decibels and listen. Keep moving between low and high extremes closer and closer to zero, stopping to listen at each point. Pick your favorite and leave the control on that. Finally, you're going to set the level for your subwoofer. With the two-channel recording still playing, increase the level control until you can hear the bass coming from the subwoofer itself, rather than it sounding like it's coming from the main speakers. Then back it off just enough so that the bass sounds like it's coming from the main speakers. A good analogy for what we're trying to accomplish here is similar to what you do when you're focusing a good SLR camera. You'll take your focus ring out to the point where the person looks diffused, soft, and then back it up slightly till it snaps into sharp focus. Essentially, that's the same thing you're doing with the controls on your subwoofer and the setup regime that we've discussed. If you're using the LFE connection, you'll want to set the level in your processor as well. Leave the level control on the subwoofer itself the same and adjust the level in the processor in a similar way. Now, you may set the LFE output a bit higher for more dramatic movie playback. That's it. Enjoy richer bass and enhanced home theater audio. The total goal of what you're going through with all these steps is to essentially blend the subwoofer, make it seem as a complete package, spend some time, and you'll find that once it's integrated, you'll have a much fuller range with a much greater sense of dramatic impact from both music and movies.